Good morning from Singapore. It's Andy Kelly from Sundial Consulting. Um, I'm getting old, I've decided. <laughs> well, finally. I flew in on Friday from London to Singapore and it was a 13 hour flight and I slept for 12 hours. <laughs> I don't think I've ever slept that long in my life. Uh, the air crew literally thought I may have passed away during the night. <laughs> um, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room. So what's that? What's the elephant in the room? It's that really uncomfortable subject that everybody's thinking about, but no one's talking about. It's the big thing that we can all see, but it's left unspoken. We call it the elephant, the Canadians, the moose, some the gorilla, dogs not barking. Uh, but my all time favorite is from my friends in Brazil. They call it the goat under the table. <laughs> Apparently they have very smelly goats in Brazil. So you can smell it, but you can't see it. <laughs> um, you have to coax the goat out from under the table. High performing teams do that really fast. They get the elephant right on the table. They constructively move to root cause analysis and build a plan to go forward. They understand you have to do this fast because elephants grow quickly and they become mammoths. And they're way much harder to find and hunt. <laughs> um, it's time consuming, it creates cycles, it removes trust from teams, it's ineffective um, and it's tough to deal with. Some examples could be that two members of the team have had a conflict and are not talking anymore. It could be that your boss has a brand new strategy, nobody believes in it and you all feel like it's going to be a disaster. It could be that there is rumor of a pending merger or acquisition. It could be that your largest customer has said that they're moving to the competition. But we all just carry on as normal, as if nothing's happened. We kind of go into like a Buzz Lightyear mode. We don't talk about our feelings. Okay, uh, welcome to the meeting today. Um, we're going to go through the minutes of last month's meeting. So let's start with number one, uh, Johnny. You were going to organize the Easter egg hunt. Really? You want to talk about Easter eggs now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, we avoid the conversation because we don't want to stand out. We don't want to lose power or influence. We don't want to upset the equilibrium or ruin relationships. But you have to do it. Uh, we always say at Sunday Consulting that you really want a bedrock in a team of trust psychological safety and a group of people that can assume good intent. It just makes it so much easier. But look, I thought I'd give you some hints and tips on how to put the elephant in the room and talk about it. First things first, it's good to just connect with a couple of your trusted colleagues before the meeting, just to find out that it's definitely an elephant and to see if um, they agree with you and will support you. It's kind of like a coalition of people that go into the meeting. Secondly, you definitely need a plan of what you're gonna say and how you're going to say it. If you come along like you're in charge of the conversation, it builds confidence and people will come with you. If you look ill-prepared, people will back off and they won't engage in the conversation. Thirdly, you need to name it. You need to call it something. Right? And what I mean by that is everybody in the room needs to have a consistent understanding of what the elephant is about and what you're thinking about doing. Thirdly or fourthly, you need to think about engaging emotional intelligence, right? There are gonna be people in the room, some that feel more sensitive, some that feel more emotional about this subject maybe than you. So you need to engage your empathy, compassion, and care of others. Then you need to really keep the communication flowing. Everybody needs to get their moment. Everybody needs to share their views and their feelings about the subject. Then you need a plan, right? You need to have a plan. And it's because it's very disappointing if people go through that kind of angst of talking about the elephant and then nothing's happened. There are no decisions made. So that's really, really important. So look, it's tough. Um, it's scary, um, but it's never as bad as you think, right? And typically, there's a kind of mutual sigh of relief as the subject gets raised and put on the table. Um, you know, one way just to make it easier is just to signpost what you're about to do 
and show some vulnerability, right? Hey team, look, there's an elephant in the room. It's getting in the way. We need to talk about it. Um, I'm really not looking forward to this. I'm gonna find this really hard. And they throw you a bone. So look, good luck, happy hunting. And we'd love to hear your stories about the elephant in the room. Bye for now, Andy.